No, no filters, filters the podcast. podcast. <laughs> yes. What's up, y'all? We are tuning to another episode of No Filters the Podcast. I am Honey T, and I'm here with my girls. What's up, y'all? Shauna the mama. Shauna is back. Shauna is back, y'all. <laughs> I have my baby, y'all. And she's Yes. Pretty. Congratulations. <laughs> she looks dead on you, so too. Pretty. I'm in love. Oh, <laughs> nothing compares. <laughs> I know it's cliche, but nothing compares to that little thing. I'm happy somebody had a baby because it won't be me. I know that's right. Oh, definitely. Won't be me, me again. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. Shut down and we got our guest today. We got Strike Tyson on here. What's up Say what's up to the people. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? I'm looking at the camera. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> so where does your name come from? Strike Tyson. Mm. Excuse me. Are you a scammer? It's like that. No. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't scam. Yeah. Uh, that, that come from joke. my um, entrepreneurship. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you like to elaborate? <laughs> I would not. No. Entrepreneurship. We're going to leave it at that. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, before we move on, I feel like y'all been asking <laughs> us to address the elephant that in the so room. Funny. From now on, for No Filter the Podcast, it would just be us three. You see? Um, we want to say congratulations to Kia. She just had her baby, and yes, we're Mama wishing Kia. the best for Nay for her future endeavors. But moving forward, it's just gonna be me, Mo, and Shauna. So if that answers y'all question, hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then whatever. But anyway, moving on. So we want to get into our icebreaker. I can't wait. Huh? I can't wait. Go ahead. Read. Okay. So our icebreaker is. What's nastier? <laughs> in the ass or spin in the mouth? Spin in the mouth. Spin in the so? mouth? Don't spin in my mouth. I don't think it's like that's a, real oh, nasty. It's not like that. That's real nasty. It you ain't one of those. Mouth. That's real nasty. I I feel like we can put, exchange it if we like lift the lip. Okay, but don't, that's what I was. What's the difference? It ain't no. Don't be on top of me. That's what I'm First saying. Time, you I, don't, don't do I don't that. even like sweat dripping on me. Like I be salty. Like what? Sweating. I'm out. Shit. However, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you spit like, baby, catch it. No, it's, it's not, not like, like that, that, though. It's not like that. What is that. it like? Elaborate. It's just like static. this. You ain't never been kissing somebody it's and like then, that. like, the look, the, the spit just, like... I mean, yeah, that's different, but the way people seem like... When you say spit in the mouth, I see... Yeah. T- t- spit in the mouth. <laughs> so, basically... It's like a swapping mouth, of air, saliva. Mouth. That's what I see when you say <laughs> so that's spit your in answer? the mouth. Absolutely. Okay, what you got? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When you say in the ass, are you saying like... No, eating, eating ass. ass. Oh, eating ass. Mouth. Oh, I'm not eating any ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said in the ass. I'm not eating any ass either. So okay, I guess so I'm, that's, that's your yeah. answer. So okay, I'm going to say okay. zero for two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I don't know. What? I ain't okay. eating no ass either, I'm but somebody no eat mine. Yeah, I ain't that's never a whole other no story, you know? No, not even on accident. Hmm. You, had, you had a man ass before? Hmm. She the type to do it on accident and be like, oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you no, do she no. not going to ask if he like it. She just going to do it and then laugh about it later. No. <laughs> Too much horrible decisions. Oh yeah. yeah. Second they will of all, you to do some shit. They will. My they will last nigga loved it, shit. and that's why he still loved me, even though I don't love him no more. Hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's not lying though. I'm not. See, she y'all know. not lying. Though. She know. She know. Anyways, what's your answer? I'm, I do both. You do both. Yeah. That's so a I, real neither man. Neither one of them ain't nasty. That's why they call you Strike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did not answer. No. You said, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, no ass, I'm not eating no ass, but. I'm not eating no ass. You can't be no. I, I guess spit in the mouth is nasty. I guess it is nasty. I don't know. It depends on how both. clean your nigga is. But like, I, if your nigga no. is a clean nigga, what do it matter whether it's We not sharing toothbrushes. So I don't care how clean you are. I ain't brush my teeth with your brush. Uh, but see, I don't even think you can. The think mouth about dirtier it like that. than the ass. Exactly. I'm not brushing my teeth yeah. with your brush, but I'm also not eating your ass. So, <laughs> I mean, I would say it depends. 
like from a nigga point of view, I don't like my ass ate. When I you don't say like ass, she don't like the wet booty feeling. I don't like she that. She done said it ten times. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can get a couple swipes when you eating a pussy, said, but don't just be swipes. over there like full out. No. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Demonstrated. <laughs> it's a no. It's a no you know, for me. Okay. I don't know. I I don't know. I I enjoy it. You but enjoy see, it? I enjoy no, no, no. Because I used to be saying, enjoy. yes. It's a I nerve back there. You ain't know that. It's a whole nerve. I learned from horses. Hey, it's, it's a nerve back you there. You can get to the G spot through like the ass. That. Yeah, yeah. If you know what you're doing, I'm just saying. I can't. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. Oh, no, no. Listen. I used to say spin in the mouth was nastier until you found a nigga that you wouldn't let spin in your mouth. But but it was how it was done. Yeah, that's Every that. nigga is not spitting in my mouth. A nigga mouth, gotta but... be smooth. He can't just be yeah, like, let me spit in your mouth. mouth. Yeah. yeah, that's not how it goes. Open up, no. spit in your mouth. That's why I always took it. Spit, air, spit. That's like, how spit, I took that first Spit, air, mouth. Like, he, no way. You know, what's a good example? I I've know. done that before, though. You've done that before? Yeah. You wow. I feel like he gotta be choking you. Was that like, yeah, 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 yeah. Your okay. tongue already out. Yeah. It's like, all right. Just yeah. let it slide down. Yeah. Just let it happen. Yeah. What you gonna do if you try to do it? Don't it just be, you know, sometimes you Nah, you a miss. A nigga, nigga that's spit on my You hit the alley, it though. Like, <laughs> you miss. It's just something like you, you moving, trying to get it in the mouth. Like, I only will ever let one nigga spit in my mouth. And that nigga missed one time. And you was done. You let him it was over. again? Nah, I ain't let him try again. It was over. I wiped my attempt. ass. I was like, all right. Anyways. Like, um, Issa, <laughs> when, um, Daniel. Huh? I don't watch like, Insecure. Don't you don't watch Insecure? Mm-mm. You watch Insecure? Insecure? Yeah. Mm, I haven't watched the last It's an episode of Issa and Daniel, and he fucking, she was giving him head, and he, like, came or whatever, and it went all over her face, but she wasn't expecting it. She was mad as fuck. She like, what? she was, because it went all in her eye. Like, that shit was funny as fuck. Yeah. Side note. However, that's what I picture when you say that. Somebody's mm-hmm. because that would piss me off. She said off. it got on her eye. If you miss and hit my eye, then it's like. I mean, that's a lot of space. I'm now woken up. The eyes and out the of mouth. The lust. But you can control it. The way you hold your hand, you can like kind of guard it from like. So just know. be like this. Now I'm a fuck yeah. robot. You want to. No, like, but I'm just saying, if a nigga, if you giving a nigga head and your hand is clearly on his dick, you can guard the flow like so it won't go in your eye because most nine times out of ten nigga gonna tell you i'm about to come right oh y'all know me i'll do a move real quick i'll hop up no i'm cool no it just depends on what position you in though like you said yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you already not in the girl eye i don't, I don't recall <laughs> you gave a facial no nah, all the time <laughs> so you probably got it in her <laughs> you probably ain't i don't recall it's depleting the fit for me. Okay, what's next? So right speaking here. of nut, <laughs> we about to get into our first topic, which is men taking birth control. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Go ahead, Mom. I'm gonna let you take it away. I wanted to know because y'all know we are in in the the stage where a lot of women don't like to take birth control. We don't want to put things in our bodies. Wait, did you bring the female condoms? I didn't. I forgot. I was oh, too okay. busy trying not to slip and slide down the road. But I'm going to bring them <laughs> next time because I want to open one up so we, we they can see what it looked like. Okay. Because it's funny looking. Um. Anyway, I want to know if it was up to the males and they were the ones that had to take birth control, would they take it? Nah. No? I ain't, ta- I ain't taking no birth control. For what? Why? If it was on the guys, like say the women didn't have to take it, like it was up to y'all to take it. You want to take it? At I all. mean, that's I can't speak on that because then I just society just I probably would then, but you no wouldn't one, take it willingly, like just because like, I mean, I, I want to get her pregnant. If, if female birth control didn't exist and we grew up in a society where males normally took birth control, I probably would. But right. what if female birth control does exist? Like right now? Would, correct. No, I'm not taking it. So you basically saying since female birth control does exist, you feel like you shouldn't have to take male birth control? No, I don't. I don't want a uh, woman I'm dealing with taking birth control. I don't. I don't like the effects birth control have on oh, her body, so I'm not yeah. putting it in my body. So are you right? Okay, that's understandable. Okay, that's fair. So that's are you taking the consequences that come with not birth control? Yes, or uh, absolutely paying for abortions. All that. I feel, <laughs> like, I feel like that's a consequence too. It's a consequence. It's all a consequence. It's all a consequence. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, Whatever come with it, I'm deal with, with it. it. Okay. Yeah, but okay. I'm I'm giving out abortion money for sure. 
He said I got you uh, times yeah, two. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got so you. Don't if, worry if, about if, it, baby. if y'all was dealing with a nigga and he told y'all he was on birth control, how I would y'all wouldn't feel? be mad. Huh? I wouldn't be mad. You wouldn't be mad. I guess I'm not no. getting up. No, yeah. <laughs> I feel, I, like, uh, I feel like if you're dealing with a man that decided to take birth control, he is man enough to know he don't want to deal with them consequences that come with that. So I can respect that right. at the mm-hmm. end of the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're aware of the consequences and you don't want to deal with them and you're doing something to prevent those, I can respect that. Yeah. I mean, it's just like a guy, like, you pull up or whatever and he wear a condom. It ain't no offense to you. I mean, it might be on his behalf, but I wouldn't take offense to it. Yeah, Because he want to wear a condom. Like, shit, I don't right. want kids either, so. Right. No, y'all shouldn't take offense of it, but how long they been out? Five years? I'm not putting that shit in my if that I'm right. not putting that shit in my body. It's, it's right. still in the testing stages. Hell right. nah. Yeah, it is. Like it is. thirty yeah. years down the line, yeah. it'll be it probably be where it need to be. be. Where it need yeah. to be. Hell nah, you gonna get it. Go. It would sound weird though, dude. You you about to fucking do it? Cause it's like, such a new Don't concept. worry, I'm on birth control. Like what? <laughs> oh, okay. where you get it from? <laughs> or a girl asking a dude like. You on birth control? Right. It's like, it's like an equal. It's like an equal exchange. Like you on birth you want, control? No, I'm not. Is it your pill today? Control. Like what? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, quit playing with me. Uh, I'm just trying to figure it out. That's so, so, like, funny. if it was, if no birth control didn't exist, do you feel like what would determine like how comfortable you how comfortable you felt like dealing with a woman or man if y'all was like being sexually active? And I had to take birth control. I was gonna say it would be the same as the now, same so as now. It'd be the same. Pull out method condoms. Real niggas raw doggy. <laughs> and pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be the same. I, for me, I can't speak on nobody else, but for me, I'm not gonna deal with nobody who I feel like I wouldn't want to take those consequences with. Yeah. Right. So you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm not about to be sitting up here and be like. Oh, birth control don't exist. We about to take every extreme measurement there is. Because mm-hmm. we all know people be perping. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I had took a poll on my Instagram one day and I said, now that we're all adults, will y'all admit that y'all don't use condoms every time y'all have sex? Right. And a lot of people admitted that they don't. Right. So it's not out of this world that people have unprotected sex. Cause, I mean, a lot of sex be spontaneous, too. It be moment, it like, moment sex. Like, you went to go kick it with somebody and now you fucking, like, or... Like, you might be somewhere, and now you fucking in the car. Like, you ain't about to be like, I'm going to pull up to the I don't think I'll be having condom. spontaneous sex, but once I'm dealing with somebody and we're constantly it's having over. sex, we're not about to use yeah. protection. So do you feel like you're time. emotionally secure with that person to be like, all right, we're going to use protection? Sex. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. Because it's more like a trust thing, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I got to like I gotta trust you. Like Right. I got to trust you. Because like, if I don't trust you, I probably shouldn't even be fucking having you. sex with you. No, right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I work. That's like, exactly how I You feel. agree? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The trust factor got to be there. Yeah. For okay. Sure. For sex. So, like, when it comes to, like, a relationship overall, another topic we wanted to discuss is emotional security versus financial security. Like, which one do y'all feel like is the pro or the con or which one you know holds more weight you for want you us in to a relationship them. i would rather be emotional emotionally secure. emotionally Me secure too, emotionally and why you say that um simply because i don't want to be with nobody like a that's like being with somebody that's like that has no emotion towards you that don't give a fuck about you pretty much like can care less like what you together for yeah. Honestly, like you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't give a fuck about me, it ain't gonna. Matter. It doesn't even matter. I don't right. even care. Like, cause I'm gonna hate you, and then what? Right. Like, we gonna be arguing all the time and all that kind of shit. Like, no. Rather yeah. be with somebody. That don't mean that the person that's emotional, that's emotionally securing me, is not like having money or anything like that. That's mm-hmm. not the way I'm taking your question. That's what we saying. I'm saying. Like, is it over that or is it? If you could choose one over the other in a relationship, emotional, for sure. emotional for sure. security, for sure. What for you sure. got? Emotional, mm-hmm. for sure. I got emotional. Only because I'm gonna say, the age that I'm at now, I really want a man that I can be vulnerable with, and mm-hmm. I want him to be able to be vulnerable with me. Right. If if there's Indeed. no equality to those things, because the more guys that I date, I'm noticing it is a lot harder for males to be emotionally available. Now, mm-hmm. is that an excuse? No, because at some point, you got to own up to what you're asking for. Mm-hmm. If you're asking mm-hmm. for a relationship, this is what comes with that. You have to be emotionally available. And like Shauna said, it don't mean that I want a dude that ain't got no money, but a lot of these dudes be having money and ain't even emotionally <coughs> secure available. to yeah. spend the money the right way, or they yeah. got money, mm-hmm. they try to get you with the money, then when it's time to pay for something, they don't bring up the money no more. Like, so it... 
Or, or they be get like, you with the money and they don't even be trying to like talk to you for real or like have a conversation. Yeah. Like if I just ask for a conversation, like and that's the issue, fuck your money, fuck you. Goodbye. But when like, you play the same game deep. with them, then it's it not don't, that deep. Don't, you because are, I have my own digger, money. Like, right? yeah. But no, a lot of niggas, <sighs> a lot of niggas think shit. like, okay, in one of my past relationships, like, he thought, like, as long as I'm showing up and paying, it's cool. Like, no, like, I want you to plan shit. I don't want, I don't want, I used yeah. to plan everything, yeah. all the vacations, all the dates. He just thought that he could just show up and pay and everything was cool. Like, no, I want you to show interest in what I like. I want you to do something romantic for me. Yeah. And this, I mean, even though that you're paying for it, I want to know that you're putting that effort in. Like, yeah. it's not just about financial security, especially now. Like, I feel like I'm in a space in my life where I'm starting to be financially secure. Like, so a man that is financially secure, like, Yes, that's a bonus, but at the same time, everything that you can give to me, I can, I can give already give to myself. So mm-hmm. I need a little bit more than just you showing up and paying for shit. Like yeah. that don't that's not enough. Like so I don't know. For me, it's definitely emotional security yeah. right now at this space in life. What you got, Strike? I don't know. Like as a man It's different. I don't yeah, you it is different. I really don't benefit off my Woman being financially secure, yeah, it won't matter. Yeah, yeah. Like the type of nigga I am, I won't right. pay for you, everything. You're anyway. a different type. Of, you're a special type of nigga though, because so all niggas like, not like that. But you know why? You know why I think you feel like that too? Because I don't want to say that this plays a part, but me knowing you, your mom was a single mother too, yeah. and I feel like. I don't know. Like, you got a real, a different bond with your mom. And I feel like my son will have the same thing with me. So I feel like that's why you feel like that. But I feel like a lot of men will say that too because men feel like they, this is what I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm supposed to hold us down financially. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though I would want my man to know that on his down days, I can hold us down too. Right. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying when it comes to equality. But a lot of men feel like they girl is supposed to be the one with all the emotions. And since they are paying, then. What you complaining for? I also right. think, though, men that are um, emotionally unavailable sometimes have those negative relationships with their mom or yeah. just in general, like, being that son. You know what I'm saying? Like, being that person that has to, like, kind of do everything or be there for their mom. Like, sometimes mothers put their sons in, like, boyfriend or husband uh, positions. Yes. So, like, sometimes it may make them feel like... Like, I don't want to keep doing this for somebody. And then they get with a woman, and she put him kind of in that same situation. But you are her boyfriend. You Like, you are her husband. You are her fiancé. So, like, that may play a part as well, just kind of being emotionally unavailable. Because that kind of, like, I guess that would be a bit of, like, stress if you went through that your whole life. And then now you meet a girl, and she asks for the same things. But mm. you ain't want to do it in the first place. So now you're like, oh, fuck this bitch. Mm. Yeah. Here. Fuck and this I bitch. Feel she like- getting on my nerves. She's talking too much. Men who are in those type of situations with their mom, their moms feel that emotional void for them. Mm-hmm. So when they get a girlfriend, they don't feel like they need that type need of that. void feel with their girlfriend because it's already emotionally fulfilled with their mom. Like, I dated a nigga who was very emotionally, like, fulfilled with his mom. So when it came to me, like, it was Niggas like... Niggas like that weird, too. Yeah, I like agree. you weird as hell. <laughs> That's weird as hell. And this is why we broke up. Because right. when shit hit the fan, it was just like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you go sleep like, with your mama then. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, you weird. Okay. Oh my god. See, now I'm not about I used to think that I was tripping so bad. Yeah, no. Like. Am I tripping? No, like it's not me, nigga. It's, it's you. you. But, it's <laughs> you. Oh, but yeah, so it's, it's definitely emotional security. But you for know me, what? Like, it's, it's a lot of people like that too. These parents be trying to live through their kids, and indeed. at some point, as a parent, she was supposed to cut that off. Mm-hmm. But clearly, she didn't want to because she was benefiting from that. But that's weird. I had a friend and her mama used to try to live through her all the time. Like, yeah. I'm talking about all the time. Everything she didn't do as it's a kid. It's called emotional incest. Like, yeah. everything she didn't do as a kid, she had to do. Yeah. The stuff that she didn't want to do, she still had to do. And I'm like, bro, at this point, we like 20 years old. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when you going to be able to live your life for you? I will have a vulnerable moment. My mother's like that. Like, we not close, but, like, I grew up without her. And then when I became an adult, I connected back with her. 
And I will say that she was like that towards me, and I had to cut her back off because mm. it was like it's too much. It was, it was too much. Like five years of that, that shit. Right. Like that shit was crazy. And I was making an excuse like, "Well, that's my mama. That's my mama." Mm-hmm. But like at the end of the day, you really not my mama. Like you became a friend, and I can drop you off. Like I drop off all these other friends, you know. As well. So, yeah, yeah. That shit yeah. was crazy. That shit was. Crazy. I think a lot of people live through their kids now, though. So when it comes For to because sure. um, everybody like lacking something, like uh-huh. everybody right. was lacking something where they felt like their kid got in the way of their future. Even through fashion, so, like, like yeah, people, Definitely. your kids have all the Jordans and y'all live in Winter Terrace. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. He, like that's ass fucking backwards. Like you standing right. in line for the cougar as well. Yeah, that's people ass fucking backwards. People take the term. I'm gonna give my kids everything I didn't have and use it as an event. Well, little Dirk say, if you tricking on these hoes and, and your, your mama, mama ain't, ain't got, got a house, house that, that ain't pee. pee. <laughs> that ain't pee. Period. He no said that ain't For real, pee. though, like, a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas live like that. Like, cause a lot. I feel like it's not... I feel like it's a thing that they're comfortable with. Like if you if you're a hood nigga, that's what you come from. Your mama been comfortable here for so many years, and you finally come up with some money. Like the first thing you might not think is like, all right, let me make sure my mama good, which is a fucked up thought. It's not even about that the mama. The, it be yourself. Like yeah, that, that still shouldn't be, be the first on couches. thing. Like, bro, you got all this money. Niggas came up, pee pee pee, all that shit still stands on my couch, bro. You didn't came up all these racks, and you still got a roommate. Like right. we twenty five plus, and you still got a roommate. That's what niggas like, that no, used to like, have shit. Sorry, like I used to yeah. be like, okay, I'm you, sorry, you my stay with your mama got to go through the process. That's, that's, like I got a team, it. so my yeah. team, I'm gonna make sure the people that a that make sure I have money and make sure I'm safe, secure first, and then I can mine here. Right. Mm-hmm. But I got to make sure the people that that's gonna look out for me when I can't look out for myself good, mm-hmm. and then I can look out for mom. You got to you got to prioritize everything. Mm-hmm. Right, so, especially if you in a position to where you at that age where you is handling all your shit and your parents might not be. Like, if you got older parents, mm-hmm. if some if something happened to me today, I know that my parents can't look out for me. So I got to get myself in a position to where I can go handle my mama, my daddy, my cousins, and still come back and handle me. Like, right. Like, I ain't about to go and get my mama a million dollar house and I'm still figuring shit out. Right. Like, I can't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if we all, everything said and done and I done bought me a house, my son good, my husband, whoever the case may be, I'm going to set my mama up. But, yeah. but that's the problem. You said niggas not used to having shit. We don't even prepare ourselves to have shit. So when we get it, we we act crazy as hell. And we don't know Because we not used it. to having it. But, but like, that, you got to prepare for that, though. That's also come from our parents. I mean, yeah, like, but you, at the end of the day, you, you still if, have if our parents ain't teach us financial literacy, we're going to blow our first $100,000. Right. Like, see right. niggas do it. They yeah. never knew nobody that had $100,000. Well, that's what they like, know what if to you do get, Yeah, because like, if you don't got nobody to mentor mm-hmm. you and tell you how to properly spend your money, because a lot of us are, like, in the black community, are living, like, for survival. So you, nice. you just living for the next bill to be due. Like, all of that type of stuff. So you don't really know, like, oh, I got this much amount of money. Like, I need to save it. A lot of people just spend it, spend it, spend it because they're not used to having it. Like, I think we also had a mentality of survival just, well, if I lose this, I'm going to make it back. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, right. We Especially always say generation. that, like, our what? Generation if I lose bad. that? Yeah, spend a check and get it right back. I'm going to get it right back. Literally, because yeah. one week I'll be like, I need to save. Because we going to get it back. We going to figure out a way to get our yeah. shit back. Uh-huh. But we could have had that That's double. the dumbest mentality. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. is, yeah. but I feel yeah, like that's kind of what we were, like, groomed into. into. Yeah, like, I think so, too. You know? You got to think, we live in, we say this all the time on the show, our generation is in a weird spot, like, we the microwave generation. Literally, we done seen the, we done seen it all. We literally have seen it all. So for me, if I'm already feeling like oh, I'm gonna save, I got this much to save, but I'm still gonna go do this. I'm gonna be the first to say I'm still gonna go do this. Cause guess what? I'm gonna figure it all out. Cause what we do on a daily basis, we figure it the fuck out. Right. I ain't never had no failures of not having to figure some shit out. I don't right. always been able to figure some shit out and keep it pushing. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. why why am I gonna go against that? And that's what I know. Right. I know. Yeah. I feel like always know that's the thing that we have out. to get the like that rotation out of us. Like we gotta stop saying we are gonna figure it out and just stay on the beaten path. Like we say we gonna save this, save that. If somebody call me and be like, come out, da 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 da. If I know I just got, I just put this money up, I ain't going to go tap it to my money. You know what I'm saying? To go right. out and do that. I got to be strong enough to be like, I ain't got it. Yeah. Word. Like, I'm I'm not doing it. Oh, no, nah, if I ain't got it so, for real, I ain't got it for real. Yeah. No, but like, you cannot have it for real. Like, you tell yourself you broke. Like, I tell myself I'm broke just so I can save money. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't, I ain't got it. Like, I'm not touching that. Like, yeah. I don't have it. 
because I'm not touching that. So right. I think like that discipline, like that's something I learned like in the past year. Yeah, it's discipline. Yeah, it's hard. That, that's something yeah, I it's just hard. really learned. I feel like, like I feel like a lot of us have to learn no. stuff the hard way yeah. ourselves oh, because yeah. our parents weren't able to teach us that. Oh yeah. So now that we get into our late twenties, we don't live the early twenties, the partying like. Uh, some people may have got their first apartment. I seen this on Instagram the other day. Like, if you ain't get evicted off your first apartment because of a nigga, then something, something, whatever. Like, a lot of people don't went through that shit. I personally haven't, but Me I'm just saying, like, like, you Every know, early 20s, I had was you mine. Shit out. <laughs> that shit was mine, okay? <laughs> yeah, mine, like, mine, early mine. 20s, you, try, you really try to figure shit out because you don't really have that guidance. Yeah, so I feel like yeah. everybody now, like, Especially with this age of social media, even though there's a lot of bad things on the internet, there's a lot of good things that mm-hmm. you could be paying attention to. Like, it's so many businesses you could start. Like, it's like Airbnb, it's NFTs, cryptocurrency, all these different ways to get money. It's We're, like, being exposed to all these different type of credit repair type of things that we can do to get our credit right. Like, all, all these type of things. It's all about how you take it, too. Huh? It's mm-hmm. all about how you take social media. Like, you yeah, gotta, like, like balance you that gotta, shit. But it's, like you just said, it's discipline, too, because, like she said, if we, we, we literally, and I was just having this conversation with this dude the other day. <laughs> if we already have a lot of the tools in front of us, it's, it's still up to us to perceive it a certain way. And right. I feel like, in our culture as black men and women we need to stop saying well we didn't have this before well we didn't have this before we got it because now. we have it now it's yeah. in our hands. at the end mm-hmm. of the day it's up to us to break the cycles and educate one of one another because right. everybody got people around them you know what i mean right we all should take you know pride and giving each other new information yeah because the, inf- whatever, whatever. the information is out there it's and out it's there. more easily accessible now than ever so it's like it's up to you to really take advantage of it and if we keep living like people got the one up on us guess what they're gonna have the one up on us yeah so stop so you're trying saying, to keep up exactly yeah. and stop you can't saying, keep up we can't do this because they're gonna do that well guess what if i say johnny gonna win the race guess what johnny's gonna win the race because i already got it in my mind that i can't win this race right so we're just gonna have to end problem yeah. is a lot of people don't want to be successful until they need to be successful till it's right. too late yeah. till you don't really have time to wiggle in and they want to do it overnight yeah like it don't work like that it don't it not at all not at all you yeah. gotta bump your head a lot of times to get it right mm-hmm. I don't bump and they gotta and, and a lot of people don't even start the process until it's too late yeah. So that'd yeah. be the problem. Okay, y'all. So we got time for one more topic <laughs> before we wrap it up. Um, so another thing we wanted to discuss is does friendship determine who you can and can't be cool with? He gonna say yeah, I already know. Yeah. You say yeah? Yeah. It's different. Why you say me. yeah? It's definitely different for me. Um I'm big on my friends. Yeah, I, I, I don't like I don't care for family at all. I, I care for the people that choose to treat me right, choose mm-hmm. to do right by me. So if so if you have brother strike like <laughs> like my, my, like shit. my Hondas is my real friend. Like they don't know my real name. Uh, you whatever, told my bad. Whole ah! She my like she my real friend. So if she be like I don't fuck with her. I'm not. She, right. Yeah, she gonna so, stay over there. Right. Respectfully, yeah. because I don't need you. Uh-huh. You talking about I don't need you anything like anything you can offer me I can figure out for myself right mm-hmm. so yeah uh, yeah the determined yeah who what I'm y'all cool think with. personally I think I'm iffy um at this age not just depends just depends on what the bitch did like if you say that bitch slept with your man hoe every time we see that hoe it's an issue together. <laughs> <laughs> but if you say like you know what I'm saying like then it's it's an issue like we gonna beat that bitch up but yeah. if you saying like you know I don't like her because she said something under my comments or something like that then it's like mm, you might need to get over yourself yeah because some, like some of that, that shit too, is not necessary I like, also feel like now like the age that I'm in I know who my friends and who not my friends yes. Nine times out of ten, if you saying that you don't like somebody for some for a certain reason, I probably feel the same way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because you're that too, in tune. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it ain't too many times where my friend would be like, "Oh, I don't like her because of da da," and I'd be like, "Oh, I noticed that too. That rubbed me the wrong way." Mm-hmm. And I just don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. yeah, I feel like my friends is my friends now. I'm not looking for no new friends. Mm-hmm. I easily make friends, so as quick as I lose one, I can get five. Right. Mm-hmm. Well. 
Yeah. And people ain't that important to me. Yeah, that's what I'm they saying. They're not that like, important like, to me to where it's gang, like, it's my she game. cool to hang with. Yeah, like, he cool to hang with. That's what, nah, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care if he cool to hang like, with. And ain't that important. Like, growing up, it was like, all right, friends. Mm-hmm. Like, now it's just like, if you my bitch, you my bitch. Literally. And that's Period. Point blank. Like, like, that's all it is. Yeah. That's why I say, like, I don't believe in that best friend shit. Because at the end of the day... If you could get to the status of a best friend, you got to be to the status of a friend. Like, I feel like it's the same thing to me. Like, mm-hmm. ain't, like if you my bitch, you my bitch, period. It mm-hmm. ain't nothing that's going to put you over you no other yeah. girl yeah. I'm hanging with or under mm-hmm. no other girl I'm hanging with because y'all all got to be solid. Like, I don't Word. believe in that best friend shit. Like, yeah. But at the same time, like, I take on my friend's emotions. So if you tell me about a bitch, or even tell me about a nigga, like I'm like, oh, never bitch, fucking with that bitch. I'm never fucking with them again. It don't <laughs> matter. Like I don't care for your baby daddy, bitch. Invite me to the birthday party. I ain't speaking to him. <laughs> you just tell me he did what? Fuck the nigga. Like I, I don't play like that. I like, damn near got the same beef for real. Yeah, like, like yeah, I really take on my friends' you emotions. Damn near did it to me because. Like you said, I really count my friends as, as my family. Like, cause yeah. I, like when you don't have family, bro, in your now, friends, like, like your they be closer than anybody mm-hmm. I've ever met. Like, yeah. it don't matter. You ain't got to be in no family photos, but bitch, you my sister. <laughs> you my brother. No, mother, fact, mother, I feel like, <laughs> fuck all that. When like, you come you from a people. dysfunctional family, yeah. you have to build your family yeah, through yeah, your you friend. Do. So we you take do. that so serious. Like, if you come from a dysfunctional family. I take that shit to the heart. You and your friends yes. start new traditions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you want me yeah. shoot that bitch? You, you know, I got it on me. You want me shoot that bitch? <laughs> well, I also that. feel like this too. You know, too, I got like, it on me. You want me shoot her? You want me just... Like, if you met <laughs> a bitch through me, and I ain't cool with the bitch no more, you ain't cool with her neither. <laughs> I'm taking you with me, bitch. And if you don't want to go, you're getting left. That's all it is to it. She like, said, if you it. met somebody through me, and you still want to be cool with the bitch, I'm not going to say, like, y'all can't be cordial, Cause at the end of the day, I don't got no type of beef with nobody to the point it's like it's on site type of thing. Like, but at the end of the day, like if you still hanging and kicking with this bitch and you met her through me and we done fell out, like you're weird. Like, and I'm not gonna fuck with you no more either. Like, so I think I think that's weird. Like, mm-hmm. that's one. Of I'm my gonna say this: too. I love all my female friends, <laughs> but getting to the age I'm at now, my male friends be lit. Yeah, I'm telling you, all my male friends mm-hmm. is lit. They be turning me up. They be hyping me up. You know, when you going through something with your nigga, niggas be like, "Fuck him." Yep. Yeah. And I be snapping out of that shit quick. Yeah. My male friends, yeah. them, them you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> he be the main one. All right, y'all. We got like five minutes left. I set the mood. Y'all know this segment we discuss. Yeah, I've been listening to. New music or any music we're listening to, stuff we're watching on TV, Netflix, and chilling to, all that type of stuff. So what's been saying? Are we gonna give a, re- a quick review that for Gunna? Was nice. Okay, I was that gonna say. Was yeah, nice. it was good. That, that Y'all that liked was it. Nice. I, liked I liked it. liked it too. It's not my favorite Gunna. And I like the cover. I ain't gonna hold you. I did like the cover. And then on Apple like Music, the y'all see how he did the it little video? That should be moving. I don't even do shit like that. Roddy Rich did the same 21's thing. 21's been moving too. And they, they have been stuck on 21's. They all move. Now it starts moving. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cover art moves my shit. My shit be still. <laughs> you got to... You... <laughs> she said it's still picture. No, I'm surprised it's a photo. I'm Roddy Rich driving. No, yeah. I seen Gunner shit. His was, his was the first shit like yeah. that. I was yeah. like, oh. They been doing that. Because I was hyped too. Nardo Wick shit did it. He had birds and shit. I do. I do got to get download. You were telling me about his shit. I got to download that too. I like Nardo. I fuck with Nardo. Yeah, I like him too. Like, he was cool. Yeah. His first little tape was cool. What you been listening to? What type of music? What you been watching on TV? All that good shit. I don't really watch TV. And as far as listening to music, I only listen to me. You don't listen to who? I only listen to me. He purple. I only listen to, to you? Too. I ain't listen to Drake since I started rapping. Really? I swear to God. Oh, we. Well, like, we so locked in, but we ain't listening to nobody else but me. When I so drop my yeah. song, y'all better That's a little Wayne shit. shit, though. That's what he said on Drake Champs. He that. definitely said, said that shit so on So what's on your Champs. biggest inspiration I'm behind your music? Down. Shit, my guys. I don't really make music for nobody but us. Like, I talk about the shit we into, mm-hmm. and y'all gonna fuck with it because we fuck with it. I hope so. Like, right. But I made music for us, and then they just like, but you gotta make music. I got a question. That's how it started. And I'm dead serious because you've been playing me cock. I'm an ex on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in a video with the gang. I want a chain. I nah, want. Nah, she nah, need nah, that, 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 that whole gun. Me too. Nah, 
no, she tell me. No, she tell me that all the time. She literally tell me that she want a gun. He a post like I'm recording today. Give me a gun. Glocks and pounds. I'm a get tote pistol holding nigga on your damn face. That's me. That's me. All right, we gonna see you. My girl is ready. We gonna see I'm ready. We gonna see the address for the video. He performed at the showcase. No, don't do that. No. What I tell you? You wanted to come downstairs and be on stage. With throwing up Westwood. I swear I to God, she told me that. I said I would have been down there throwing up Westwood. He talking about I know. I said, but you ain't telling me performing. I didn't know. I didn't, did I know I was performing? No, D was like, get on stage. And okay. it happened just like that. It won. Uh, Damn. It's cool. I'm getting in the video. It's 2022. The people need to see me. They gonna know what's up. Okay, I'm, so. She ratchet. She for ratchet. Um, New Music Me, personal, we talk about Gunna. Um... Of course, Lil Wayne just dropped Sorry for the Wait on our streaming platforms. He has oh, some new he? records on there. I feel like shit. the new records <laughs> are better than the old records, personally, and I never thought I'd ever feel like that, but he did his shit on there. And then Corday just dropped from a bird's eye view. Um, I didn't really I get a chance to... Corday. Huh? Corday, cool. too. Yeah, I didn't really get a chance to finish listening to the whole project but so far. It's so good, like... Corday does what Corday does, so yeah. I was satisfied with what I heard so far. Like I don't know, I'm a Lil Wayne fan. I'm gonna listen to like I caught myself listening to the Corday three the other day. I yeah. played Lollipop today. Shit. It's I was timeless. That shit. I was in that. That shit. It's timeless. Ages none. Um, I've been listening to um Twenty One. I love Twenty One. I love Twenty One. I love Twenty One. That's my cousin. Twenty One. You my peoples. <laughs> um. And I've been listening to that scissor, that control. I don't know why, but yes. the baby like it. I like it. We've been I, I, cooking. I the baby control will never get old. This is time of album. I've been like listening to Chief Keith. Control is our mm. miseducation the kid, Leroy, of Roy Hill Facts. for this generation. Facts. 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 Like, I can't wait to Facts. see what she drop in 2022 because I know she got an album coming. Yeah. I just can't wait, but... Yeah, we were just listening to that Tory Lanez 80s album, too. I like it. Walking Dead? Nah, Tory Lanez cold. I like it. Really? Tory Lanez the most talented artist out here. In oh, yeah, Tory Lanez got hit. Like, he the most talented like artist. Yeah. Now, because of... So, is Tory Lanez uncanceled for the people? No, he definitely I never canceled is Tory Lanez. I never canceled him. I've been listening to Tory Lanez since 2010. That's because I love Meg more than I love Tory Lanez. To save a shot for later, Chicks Tape, the first one. That's my nigga for All the Chicks Tapes. But I loved him during the fucking pandemic when he yeah. was on, on fucking live and all them hoes was shaking their ass for milk and shit. Right. That shit was he funny kept that as shit lit. fuck. Yeah, I knew sure. that I knew it was something weird with that Megan shit important. when he didn't get charged with felonious assault. That's what I'm yeah. saying. When he I, when he didn't get charged with felonious assault, instantly Meg, Megan was a liar to me. Cause I, it's, I, it's I, it's I, I, they be sapped to, yeah, to charge somebody. Yeah, because I done, yeah. I done went through enough gun shit in my life with me and my friends to where I know that. This is the charge you're going to get. Right. He didn't get that charge. I don't know yeah, nothing what Meg talking about. Yeah, going like, on for mm-hmm. sure. For sure. But we going to figure out in 2020. It's a lot. It's a lot of shit to figure out in 2020. Yeah. But you want to go ahead and plug in your social medias where everybody can find your music before we sign off? Uh, Strike Tyson, 513 on Instagram. Uh, Strike Tyson on Facebook. Lowe's in drop on um, February 1st. Lows in drop February 1st. I don't have any music out officially. I don't have a song out. So my first song dropped February 1st. All the DJs got it. Y'all gonna tune in to it. It's gonna be, we gonna fucking go up. In 18 months, we'll be out of here. Okay. You know, the 18-month plan. I promise you, I will not be in Cincinnati in 18 months. I don't, I'm gonna be here for real now. Yeah. So in 18 months, I won't be here. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay, any last emotional outbursts? As I'm with the gang, I'm with the mind. What is you thinking? We're turning up all 2022. We're I hope y'all ready to see Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, real quick. We went to the A for New Year's and got lit and had a ball, and we're going to do it again. There's some stuff coming up. It was heels on couches. For sure. Mm. Hills was I don't know what we going to go couches. for yeah, next. She said heels on couches. It was heels on couches. It was definitely heels on couches the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Now, y'all look turned. Y'all definitely look turned yeah. up. Yeah, like I had we, a ball. We do our big one. We yeah. do our big yeah, one. Like you know, we know yeah. how to do it. Yeah, but okay, Shonda, anything else? No, I'm good. Congratulations Shonda, on the baby. baby. Thank you. Oh, uh-huh. the pie baby. I love my baby. The pie baby. I love my baby. <laughs> Shout out to my baby. Yeah. Yes, it's been great. Shout out to my man. Yeah. Shout out there, my cousin. Yes. That's my cousin. He was there, man. I swear. He was there through <laughs> every That's drop, my cousin. every. All that, all yeah. that. He was there through it all. He's still there. We, we need fathers like that. We, we love take we care. I'm glad I had a baby beat by a nigga that want to be a daddy. Okay. This so, energy. I didn't want to be a so. daddy. He wanted. He wanted her. Energy. You got her. Right. <laughs> 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 Saw you, bro. But yeah, shout out yeah. to 
my nigga. Okay, well, this has been another episode of No, no Filter.